folks, the Harrow changes that came as part of Harrow Prime, yeah, they're pretty insane. In fact, they actually kind of make them overpowered. Here we are in the simulacrum with Harrow Prime. So let's go up against some corrupted heavy gunners. And the first change I want to talk about is the thermal change. They quote unquote increase the amount of energy regeneration that you can get from using thermal. I'm of course using warty thermal, so that's going to massively boost the amount of energy that I'm getting from thermal. But even just like from this, the idea that I'm getting 224 energy per kill. That's kind of insane. And then the second change, of course, is if you are missing health when you use penance, you get healing when you use penance. So if you look at the top right, my health went back to full just from using penance, which I actually think was a very, very useful um, buff for uh, Harrow. It just basically means that if you are running out of health or if you don't have any health and you want to use penance, at least you won't die instantly from losing all of your shield. So that's, of course, very helpful. And then on top of that, there was also a buff to Condemn, where apparently, uh, I guess it kind of works around you a little bit. I'm not entirely sure about that buff, but mainly the penance buff and the thermal buff are ridiculous. So let's have a look at the build that I am using on Harrow and this is the build that I am using on Harrow. It is a four former build but I think you can get away with two of the former if you go straight for an umbral build as I have gone for. So this build should be really straightforward in terms of we're using stretch and prime continuity of course for our ability duration and ability range. We're using blind rage for even more ability strength. Now you may be thinking hold on that lack of ability efficiency is an issue, no? No, because again, Thurible is incredibly strong. And also keep in mind, because something like Preparation is now baked into his kit, you actually don't need Preparation in this build at all, which makes it really, really good, especially when you pair something like Prime Flow into his kit, which I believe you don't even need to polarize the slot either, so that makes it really, really useful. Umbral Vitality, Umbral Intensify, because I'm going for an Umbral build, and that's how we get 254% Power Strength. This 254% Power Strength is really, really pow powerful because it basically gives us a lot of damage reduction for ward thermal and also gives us a lot of extra ability per second and uh, energy per second as part of using thermal on top of that amazing tribunal because i still want him to be a uh, sort of a support wall frame for co-op play now here's the thing about the thermal change even without warding thermal this ability can get you a lot of energy right from the get-go in the old days I think I would always cap out at around about 40 energy per kill, but now I will probably cap out around the 85 energy per kill, and that is a huge thing because there's not really that many Warframes that would actually need 85 energy per kill, especially not Harrow. So at that point, you really want to find an ability that you want to be spamming, and for my purposes, I have chosen to go for Defy. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Keep in mind that if you use a damaging ability like Defy and you do a bunch of kills, that does count towards getting a bunch of energy from your Thurible. So definitely a good choice if you so desire. But otherwise, I think Harrow is really, really strong. And if you're a Harrow main, feel free to let me know in the comments what you prefer to put as your helmet. I think I've seen people go for something like Fire Blast Harrow in order to deal with the other thing that Harrow does struggle with at, on occasion, which is of course armor. Having an ability that armor strips could be very, very useful. I've also put in Prime Sure Footed into my build mainly because I want to be able to just mass use something like the Kuva Brahma. So at that point, that fixes that particular weakness that Harrow would have when using something like the Kuva Brahma, which is of course self stagger self stun without using something like cautious shot so that is basically why i put that in my build but that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed if you liked this video hit that like button subscribe for more warframe content and until next time i'll see you guys later thanks for watching bye Mission complete.